New figures show the enormous impact the Southern Expressway duplication has had on the southern suburbs in its first year. Two-thirds more people are using the shortcut to the south since the upgrade, which is also expected to have a flow-on effect in property prices. Just one year ago, it was the world's longest reversible one-way freeway and a nightmare for commuters. This was a source of embarrassment for South Australians for over 15 years. But in the 12 months since it was made into a two-way arterial, the Southern Expressway is being used by more than 26,000 extra motorists on weekdays, an increase of two-thirds. So it means that residents of the southern suburbs, uh, all the way from here at Darlington to Port Nalunga, have got much faster, much easier access to and from the city. And it's freed up space on South Road for local traffic, improving safety for drivers. In the last uh, 10 months, uh, we've seen a halving of the number of uh, casualty crashes and property damage crashes on Main South Road. While city-bound trips have increased by around 75%, southbound trips have also increased by just under 60%. Many businesses, particularly those businesses further south in McLaren Vale and in the Flurio Peninsula, talk about the ease with which people can now get down to their businesses. And demand for property in the southern suburbs is expected to rise because the upgrades made it possible to live further out but still work in the city. It will increase the attractiveness of suburbs like uh, Seaford and Norlunga, which could therefore drive demand for both uh, owner occupiers and investors, uh, which could therefore also drive an increase in property prices. The Southern Expressway will link to the Darlington upgrade, which is due to begin later this year. Tracy Alexander, Nine News.